All right, so I had somebody ask me about changing the grease cartridge in the Milwaukee uh, grease gun. This is the M18 version, so I wanted to go over it, and it's pretty simple, but, you know, it depends on if you've ever done it or not. So there's a couple ways you know if you're out of grease. Uh, one is this piece right here uh, won't pull out because this acts as your guide. Um, I show you how it's kind of acts as your guide in my review video of this. Uh, it's got measurements on there to tell you how much of the grease tube is left. And also it makes this noise where when it's normally pumping, you can kind of hear like a click where it's clicking the grease through. And so when it's not putting any grease out, it makes a different kind of noise. Let's see if I can, if you can tell the difference. You hear the motor spinning, but you don't normally, there's like a tick, 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 where it's pumping the grease out. So it's not doing that. It's you know, not really pumping any grease out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the cartridge. So I'm gonna take the battery out. And then all you do is I loosen this whole tube assembly up, slide it out. And as you can see, there's just a little bit of grease that's left in there, but uh, let me pull on it Pull the tube back and I'll show you. You have to pull this plunger out before you can take the tube out. All right, so you pull the plunger out, you lock it into place right there. As you can see, there's no grease in there. So you just take this grease con container out and you're gonna come over here. You're gonna take your cap off of your new one and then you're gonna undo this little can style tab. Pull this off, this is gonna be the top piece here and then this skinny piece is going to slide down to the assembly so i'm going to do that and then all right so once you get your grease tube loaded up you don't want to release the plunger until after you put it back into the grease gun so it just has like a fine thread and you thread it down in there into the bottom of the grease gun so let's see if i can do that one hand Slide it down in there. Give it some turns. So you snug it down in there. And then it just locks into place here. I'm gonna pull out the plunger. So you pull out the plunger and then you can push it in. So like I said before, before I change the tube, I couldn't pull it out at all. Now I can pull it out. It has measurements on there telling me four out of four, three out of four, two out of four, one out of four, meaning I have a full tube of grease. So I'm gonna push that back in. And then you just have to run the grease gun. So we're gonna put the battery back in and we're gonna run the grease gun until we start to hear that different noise. So you hear that popping. Now it's pumping grease. And if you don't get grease out and the, and the pumping noise doesn't come back, then there is a release valve on the side over here at the front. You can see this might be a better angle. So this is the release valve and then the grease will, there's a little, Fitting on the side here. If I can get this, I'm trying not to get grease from the end of this grease tube everywhere. So if you can't get any grease to come out, normally there's an air pocket in here. But you'd want to do that and it would it would spit air out, but there's no air in here. You just wipe off the grease and that's your purge valve. If for some reason when you switch the tube or you're putting a brand new tube in, you need to do it that way. So once you do that, you're set to go. Your grease gun is all ready to pump grease again. And uh, yeah, pretty simple, but uh, you know, you just don't want to make the mistake of like trying to take this end of the grease tube off. You take the whole thing off, pull the plunger out, it just makes everything a whole lot easier. I'm sure you could do it this way, but it would be messy and confusing. And then you wouldn't be able to get that. Um, you'd have to cut that metal piece that was on the end of the grease tube off in order to slide it all the way through. So that little metal piece sits up against the rubber seal that's inside of here 
and creates that seal. That way you can pump grease. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I love this Milwaukee grease gun. I'm actually in the middle of using it. And so I had someone ask to show this. So I'm making a video of it. And thanks. Let me know what you think.